Hey guys, it's Blaze, and today, as you can see, I've done a very pin-up inspired look. It's pin-up, 40s, 50s, goths, I don't know what the heck it is, but um, I'm going to the vintage fair today with my sister, so I'm doing a look that is fitting. Um, I'm supposed to be leaving right now, I'm actually late, but I'm filming for you guys, I'm so nice. So this is the final look, um, red lips. A, a base, I don't know what to say about it, you know, a bit of contour, a bit of highlight, it's a base. And then like a simple pin-up eye with lashes. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll be talking through my outfit and my accessories as well and hopefully, fingers crossed, blogging, vlogging the event. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah! So from here we're going to cut to my gross no makeup face, so let's go. Okay, so here is my naked face, no eyebrows, pretty, um, ew. <laughs> so let's just get right into it so I can put some stuff on my face so you don't have to look at this for the rest of the video. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with my favourite moisturiser which is Speed Plump All Day Super Moisture Marble by Food and Glory. I'm not doing my hands. Um, that's for, de it's for dry and dehydrated skin, so me. Talking really quietly because all my housemates are in, and it's just awkward when they hear me. <laughs> I intended to cut my hair for this vintage fair, but I ran out of time um, to wash my hair last night, so I had to wash it this morning, so I had to blow dry it. I was like, I am not curling it after all that effort, so we are going with blow dried hair up in buns. <laughs> is a primer. I'm using L'Oreal's Infallible Mattifying Base. I don't love this primer but I'm using it because I need a primer. Then um, the next primer on my list to buy is Kat Von D's Hydrating, uh, is it hydrating Base or Primer Potion, Lotion, I don't know, something. That one. <laughs> um, I find her foundation sticks to my dry patches quite a lot so if my skin is feeling particularly dry I can't wear it so I think with that primer I should be okay so for now I'm not using that foundation sadly because it's like the perfect colour need more primer on my nose okay while I'm waiting for that to set I'm going to do again for my beauty blender and I'm too lazy to get up so I have my beauty blender and I have a spray bottle thing and full of clean water and I'm just going to go crazy. Right now we are nice and damp and this is the Real Techniques beauty blender and oh, my hands are wet. Right, <laughs> okay, foundation. So like I said, I can't wear Kat Von D's one at the moment because my skin is too dry because of her food. Um, so I use a mixture of Urban Decay's All Nighter foundation in the shade 05 and then these, uh, these? the Model Zone Runway Foundation SPF 50 Oil Free. These are just like whitening drops to add to your um, foundation to make it lighter and I think this is about £12 so it's pretty good. I tried using it as like a white highlight, not like a shimmery highlight, like a you know, contoury highlight thing, but I don't like it, so I just use it to lighten my foundation, and I thought this foundation was going to be perfect for me, but I find if I don't lighten it, it tends to look a bit orangey throughout the day, so now I lighten it, so I do one and a bit pumps of Urban Decay, and one and a bit pumps of Model Zone. I'm not sure if you can get Model Zone in America. But. Super matte, like you can see, shimmery bits on my cheeks, but I'm going to set that later anyway. So the next step is one of my new favourite products, which is Kat Von D's Lock It Concealer Cream in Whiteout, and this was sold out online, and I was in London the other day with my boyfriend, because he was going to see 
Black Sabbath, but I was not. I'm not like a I'm not like a, not a fan, but I'm not a super fan. And the tickets were like eighty pounds, so I thought if I'm not a super fan, there's probably not a lot of point in paying eighty pounds to go and see them. And I did buy tickets to see ACDC um, when they came out last year. But I did not end up going, I sold my ticket because Brian Johnson got sick and it was Axl Rose filling in, so no thank you. <laughs> so I ended up selling my ticket and my boyfriend sold his ticket, but my dad and my sister went and they had an amazing time and said it was really good. Kind of regret not going, but literally it's just Angus left, so no. Um, what I've done is put the white concealer on the high points of my face. And now I'm going to blend it out with my blender. Before I had this concealer cream from Kat Von D, I've been using my Ilan Masca Skin Base Foundation in 01, which is white, but it's not got as much coverage to be a concealer. I don't find the coverage is that good for that foundation. I know Black Friday loves it, but it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't seem to work with my skin. It picks up on the dry patches too much and it doesn't look good. Um, so blend that a little bit. Um, yes, yeah, so I used to use that with the hopes of eventually getting this, and I have now, so I'm very happy. And I also, like I said, use the Model Zone drops, but they weren't as good. Right, the next step is to bake with Cryland's translucent powder in TL1. This was from my uh, professional makeup kit, so I never actually bought this for like personal use, but um, now I'm obsessed, so I'm gonna have to buy another one. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go in with my normal powder on the rest of the face, which is Collections Shirley's powder. In too translucent but it's not like white so that's why I don't use it to bake. I don't know if that makes a difference but for me. So I'm taking my Real Techniques powder brush and we are going to set the rest of this fucker. I'm just going to moisten this disgusting word, hydrate my lips with the baby lips doctor rescue because my lips are super dry in the winter and while we are baking i'm gonna do my eyebrows so i'm taking my real techniques 202 brush this is from the metallics collection and it's just a little angled brush it doesn't look super angled <laughs> it's all like matted together nice um, that definitely needs a clean and I'm using my Freedom Eyebrow Pomade in Granite, which is a, the post just came, which is a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pomade. It is five pounds, available at Superdrug, but it's not super black, so I always have to go over it with something else. Because I just looked at the time, and it turns out I have 20 minutes until I have to leave to go meet my sister, so good times. Let's do our makeup in 20 minutes. At least we're going for a pin-up look, so it's not the eyes aren't going to take too long because there's not a lot of eye makeup. It's mainly about a cat eye, maybe a little bit of shadow in the crease and the red lips and the blush. I don't think I have the blush. <laughs> I don't ever wear blush. I don't like to put colour in my cheeks because I'm sure you all know I like to appear good. So we're going to have to find an alternative. Oh, that's very pigmented. For once in my life, I've managed to get a black out of this pomade. So I'm also listening to some really weird music in the house. It's like really weird and ambient, like something you'd hear at the spa. what you're into, go ahead. Oh, very uneven. The ambient 
juga sih kayak kayak ngomong nasnya. That is the pomade done. Eyebrows are not looking even, but you know we'll go with it. We are human beings. We make mistakes. We make bad eyebrows. It's my life. So I'm using a eyebrow brush from Primark, which was like a pound, and Kat Von D's Shade and Light Quad Thingy in Smoke. So I'm using the black shade because it's mm, pretty pigmented. My baking powder. I powder contour. Oh, my eyebrows are so uneven. It's really bad. Um, right, I'm using Essences No Cream No Sugar, which is a little eyeshadow, and Real Techniques Targeted Blending Brush, which I used to use their sculpting brush, but I prefer this a lot more. went across the other side of the room and grabbed all the makeup I've forgotten for this tutorial. Um, well played, Blaze. Well played. You're really good at this. Right, what were we doing? We were setting. We were setting. So I'm going to use my Metal Matte Palette. I'm going to be taking the shade Linen, which is a what? And I'm going to be taking this um, concealer brush. <laughs> Don't ask me where it's from because I've not got a clue. It's, it's not a good brand, I can tell you. But, but you know, it's usable. Make it smoothie palette. I'm going to be using the brush that's in there, but the big fluffy end. I freaking love this brush. And I'm going to use the shade Combust, which looks like this. Spooky bitch in the corner. <laughs> guru that I am. I left my brushes over the other side of the room. So I've got them now and most of them have black on. Nice on this. I'm going to take the Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush, which is a fluffy one. Let's see if it's clean. And going back to the Metal Matte Palette, I'm using the shade Suede. I think the first time I'm using this shade, so I'm pretty excited. I'm just going to pop that in the outer corner. No one in the world wants me to record today. I have a guy outside making a phone call. Cool, really loudly, in a language I don't understand. I have my card thing was full, so I couldn't carry on filming. Nice. I'm back, we're gonna do this, we'll make it through. Come on. Fighting through, girl power. We can do it. Do I use whiskey? Do I use <laughs> so I said dank. This is oak. Okay, we'll use oak. I'm not feeling like whiskey. FYI whiskey makes me really violent. I don't know. Mm, yeah, oak. It might be a bit warm to Taking the shade oak from my metal matte palette, pretending I know what I'm doing. Oh, I've got a super pigmented. Tap, 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 tap. You just want like a, a light bit of something in the outer corner. Um, make your eyes appear round. And look like a little doe eyed. Um, I'm gonna dab some of the shade bone over the top with a matte bone brush. I'm gonna get it in the wrong shade just to really lighten my lid. I really like this shade, it's like an off white colour. Okay, so 
So I'm going to attempt to use this shade, although I feel like last time I used it, it wasn't very pigmented. It is Ingenuine um, from H&M's makeup range, and it's like a, a shimmery highlight thing. And highlight wasn't typical of pinup makeup, but I feel like we need a pop. Oh, I'm using that on a compact fan brush, which is not the right brush to use for none of my other brush for cream. So this is what we're doing. Like I said, it's not very pigmented, you can't really see it. I'm going to try it with my fingers, see if I can get it any more chaos. See, like, you can barely see it, and I'm really annoyed because I'm sure when I swatched it in store, it was really good. That's why I bought it. Okay, this is just failing badly. We're going to swap to L'Oreal's True Match Highlighter in Icy Glow, which has three highlighted in, and I'm going to use the white one. in a corner pop. I'm going to take my highlighter brush which is just a big brush from a set I got for Christmas but I don't know what they're called and I'm going to swirl all of the shades. Highlight pop. Highlight pop. I'm not doing any shadow on the lower lash line because it's not typical of that era. I'm American now. Era. I'm going to be taking my collection um, extreme 24 hour felt tip liner pen and doing a cat eye See, if I was a professional, I wouldn't have to do my makeup like three times coming over. Okay. That'll do. Um, now we're going to use the mascara. Which my I finally used up my tester. So now I'm on to the, the main event. Which is Urban Decay version. This tube just was so big because I have the tiny little tester. We have time for lashes. Um, we're going to do lashes anyway because I'm a bad person. I'm taking Primark's Dramatic Lashes and Duo Lash Glue. These lashes, I'm sure they've had it now. This must be like the 100th time I've worn them. Probably not 100th, I'd say probably like 10th. Okay. While they are drying, I'm going to apply my lip colour, which is from Makeup Academy. It's their Velvet Lip Lacquer Liquor in the shade Reckless, which is weird because I was listening to the pretty Reckless before I did this. I use Emmyway's Lip Liner in Red Drama. This is the only lip liner I own. Stop there like a pro. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go over with my liquid lipstick. Oh, do you know what I forgot for this look? Signature Dita Von T's dot, you know, she's my icon. Icon? Eye inspiration for this look. Lashes. 
done. I think I just put too much glue on, that's the problem. I just wear it. It's too much glue. I feel like, oh yeah. I'm gonna need some glue in my eye. Glamorous. It's like seeing the world with a filter. I'm going to put the rest of my accessories on and then I'll show you guys the end result. Okay, so I'm pretty much all ready to go. We're getting super pale today. I have on this little headpiece with the netting from, um, I think it was H&M, but it might be New Look. Oh, I just got my hair out. I have my choker, which is oh, I'm exposed, Christ, which I bought from Camden. I have this cardigan from Hell Bunny. I don't remember what it's called. I got this for Christmas. I have um, a dress on from Hell Bunny again. I don't know what it's called, but that's from the Hell Bunny Vixen collection. Oh, it looks really like lopsided. It's pretty weird. Um, yep. And then my shoes. I'll show you in another shot because I can't show you now. Are from I think it's Phantasma. Phantasma. I don't know. Again, I'll link those below. And then my bag. I got from a charity shop, which was a pound. I've also got a couple of extra little accessories which I'll be wearing, some lace gloves which I bought from Corset Story I believe, and then possibly these little cat eye sunglasses from H&M. Oh I'm also wearing a petticoat under my dress which I bought the last time I went to the vintage fair. So yeah, I'm gonna go, hopefully I'll get to vlog the rest of it for you, if I'm going to.